la da 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 Hey guys, Wonder Beetle here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the brush tool in all three level types. It is different in every type. Most of it's the same, but you do have something special in every single one. So first we're going to talk about size here. This one's pretty straightforward. It's the size of your brush. If you have it on full, you're going to have a bigger brush. Small, you're going to have a small brush. And you have a minimum and a maximum. That's because for pressure sensitivity, the minimum is if you are applying very little pressure, that's how small it can get. If you're applying a lot, that's the maximum. That's how big it can get. And you can do that in the same line. Next is hardness. Um, that controls how blurry the edge of your line is. If you have it set to zero, you're going to have a really blurry edge. Set to 100, you're going to have a really sharp edge. And in between just depends on where it is on the line. For opacity, this is the special thing about the raster level as opposed to Toons Raster or Toons Vector. You have a minimum and a maximum. You can have a line that can go from super light to super dark without any trouble. You can change that so that you can have super light to super light. You can pull it up. Maybe you want half light to super dark. And this is all based on preference. So after opacity, we have pressure here. If you turn that off, you're going to get a, the same line you would get if you were drawing with a mouse. And it's not very fun to play with. Um, presets, that is you can make presets for your brushes. All of these will be saved in a preset. You can press this plus button to add one. And we'll just call this test here. And it's going to save all your information. Keep in mind with presets, it will not change your preset if you change the test and then move something. It, that's why it goes to custom so you don't adjust your preset. If you want to get rid of a preset, press this little minus button. Don't press it if you don't want to lose your preset because it has no way to recover it. Your preset's gone. Probably deletes a file somewhere in its hierarchy. It just, it's gone. So moving on to the tunes raster, size is the same. Hardness is the same. You have this new thing called smoothness where basically if you're Smoothness is set to zero, then it's going to be exactly what you draw. It's not going to adjust or fix anything. If it's set to 100, it's going to have some extreme smoothing out, especially if you like you do some weird jagged thing, you end up with a smooth thing. It is how much you want the program to correct your lines. So moving on, you've got over here selective, and selective means that this style is going to be drawn under whatever else is there. So if I have selective on and I'm drawing with black, it's going to go behind the red because that's not, because it's underneath. If I take off selective, it then draws on top of red. So basically, selective is a fancy way of saying draw behind what I've already got on the stage. Next, you have pencil. Pencil is that uh, no anti aliasing, which means you're going to get an extremely hard edge. It's similar to 100% uh, hardness, except that if you take it off, you'll notice it's still a little bit more jagged than 100% the, than hardness gives you. Next, pressure, same thing. Presets also work the same. Moving on to Tunes Vector. Size is the same. Accuracy means it's how close it's going to be to the line that you just drew. The reason it's you have to have this there is because right here you've got a very it's accuracy set to 100 so it drew exactly what you had and if you come over here you've got a lot of control points because it wanted to get every little bump and crevice you put in there that's why it's better to have accuracy set lower it's going to draw whatever is the most convenient within your margin now if you click on it you'll see it's got control points every now and then but not all the time if you turn accuracy all the way down to zero and you make a line, you're going to get as few control points as it can make. So you're going to click on this and there's one, two, three, four, five control points for one line. So it, the, the nice sweet spot is somewhere in the 20s and 30s for me. Smoothness works the same as in the Toons Raster. 
Break is a funny little thing. I'm going to turn accuracy all the way up. And what break does is anywhere you have a really quick change, you see how that's kind of, it's even double back, doubling back on itself, it's going to change that into, break that up into lines. And this is probably because if you notice with the control points, you've got a nice easy to make control point over here, but over here it would have been kind of the control point would have been on a corner and that can make it kind of hard to edit. So, oops, went too far. So next you've got, after break, pressure, which we've already seen, and presets, which we've already seen. Next there's this thing, which has to do with how OpenTunes handles your edges and corners. The edge of a line is this little thing over here, and if you Let's, let's actually go ahead and pump that up. I'll, we'll be going over the pump in a different tutorial, but it basically changes your line. With. You'll see when you have the end cap set to this bottom one, you've got it a flat edge with a little bit of space in between the line and the edge. If you set it to this, it's rounded. The middle one's rounded. And the top one is still a flat edge, but it's going to be all the way up to the edge of the line and so that's basically the difference to the edge of the line and the bottom one a little bit over. With corners, I'm going to erase this real quick. I'm stuck on polyline because of a bug that's going on with my computer right now so bear with me. With corners you got, you know how you can make a really nice, oops, you can make a really nice jaggedy line or you can make an even smaller line Right now we have quarters set to rounded and so honestly this over here is exactly the same as it works in the edit tool so if you've already seen the edit tool go ahead and just skip over this part you already know what's going on. Otherwise your corners are anything where it gets this tight and if you're on rounded it does that. If you're on flat it's going to flatten out wherever that corner is. If you're on pointed, it's going to make a point, but notice this one stays flat. That's because of your miter threshold here. If you set the miter threshold lower, then everything's going to have that flat thing because basically no matter how sharp the turn is, it's not going to give you a point. If you start raising that threshold, you start getting points back. The higher the threshold, the more things become pointed. And Notice at 6 this one became pointed too. So that's what miter means. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any tutorials you'd like to see in the future, be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe.